It's a very polarizing topic, Julian Assange, the person and the case. A, a lot of people in the general public and a lot of people in the mainstream media, when they report this case, have really bought into this notion that what Julian Assange did was somehow different than what the New York Times does, what the Washington Post does every day, uh, because he actively assisted Manning in gaining access to classified materials. But if you read what the government actually alleges, the government doesn't even allege that that's what happened. So, so a couple things. One, it is absolutely true that the journalistic community is split on the question of um, what's alleged in the in the Assange indictment, uh, and you know it, it's also true that the government again has styled those pure publication counts as based solely on the publication of unredacted informant names. But traditional journalists, you know, national security reporters, uh, are are generally confident that the publication of government secrets is protected by the First Amendment. Um, and historically, that has almost always been the case. Um, you can be convicted after receiving a fair trial. And if the notion of Assange being extradited here, which is probably what's going to happen, but you never know, we'll see what happens in the British and the European system. Uh, the notion of it has to be on both sides to accept the fact that a fair trial can mean acquittal, and if that's the case and the U.S. government can't prove it, so be it. But it could also mean a conviction, uh, and that still means that there was a, a fair trial. Now, are these the activities of a, of a journalist? Are these the activities of a publisher who's concerned about getting information into the public space to ensure that the American public is informed? Or is this someone who wants to sway public opinion in a particular way that has an agenda? So one more thing, I just want everyone to kind of sit back and have a thought experiment. If a Russian intelligence agency wanted to create a publisher that they could manipulate and use, what would that look like? 